Hello, uh, my name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on uh, this tool called Live Paint Bucket Tool. So, uh, what I have got here right now in the scene is a simple JPEG image. This is a clip art which I have downloaded from internet and then just from the browser you just drag it here and then you get this image uh, at this point. Now once I have got this, uh, this is uh, just a simple uh, bitmap image what I have got with me. So what I need to do is convert this bitmap image into uh, the vector uh, illustration. I mean it is in raster form so I need to convert into the vector so I am going to uh, choose this tool called uh, uh, object image trace and choose this uh, feature make and expand so what that will do is it will create a, a vector illustration um, it's a black and white uh, illustration with all the paths created for the drawing and it has roughly understood this text here and then it's completely a compound shape so I need to just select that object right click and then uh, ungroup it and then uh, you have this uh, white background created I'm just deleting that and also I've got this text on the below select and delete it now select everything here and then again group it now this becomes uh, one piece of uh, illustration uh, a vector illustration just select that and then just uh, scale if uh, required so uh, we have this uh, tool called shape builder tool just click and drag and then find this live paint bucket tool and then uh, you can hover the cursor onto any of this uh, patch here and then when we click you get the color stroke it's not getting so for that I need to select and then choose it then you can able to fill the color in that now the color what I'm getting here is from the color swatch uh, uh, which is there in the toolbox uh, let's say if I want to uh, get a different uh, range of colors um, selected so what I need to do is I need to open the color swatch uh, which is here or you can go to windows and then find color swatches you make it on you get it uh, here like that now you select any of the color like that and then uh, your cursor has got three boxes if you could see carefully and uh, what it is showing is uh, left right and middle colors uh, which are there here so if I select that you can see that neighboring colors there if I select this you get that three neighboring colors two neighboring colors of that selected color swatch you can use left and right arrows to uh, change whichever is there in the middle uh, is the color which I'm going to fill on the stroke here so uh, in which particular stroke this color is going to be filled the total uh, st uh, stroke is now highlighted in the green color and that is because when I double click here you get the color green with a width of four point here you can change that to uh, anything you like and also you can reduce the point there and which will actually give me that color and that thickness which I have picked there so the style which is there here in the color swatch has been applied to this just by clicking like that so I can just select any of the colors and then just fill it and if you uh, double click uh, this particular color swatch uh, what it will do is it will fill the strokes which are um, maybe attached but um, like this particular stroke I'll just select it just a slightly overlap it okay now let me try it again and then choose the live paint and then choose some orange color when I click it it gives me orange color but when double click that should fill that I, I think it's not showing up let me so see yeah pick it double click uh, generally uh, something which is really close will get that affected and uh, let me try it once again Uh, 
select the whole stroke whole design there and then select that double click I'm really sorry yeah you could see that this color has been filled here when I just single click it it was giving that color on that particular patch but here it's as it is very close double click it's it's behaving unpredictable you see that here it happened you see that carefully double click it gives that color to that neighbor generally a single click will give only to this patch but when I click it two times okay it generally fills to that particular patch also so that's a double click uh, feature but if I generally um, uh, select any color and click it three times one two three so all the black colors are now became you know orange uh, be, I've clicked it three times okay let me choose a sand uh, if you see carefully one two three and here a pick gradient one two three so you get that colors filled by triple uh, click so very similar to that we have uh, when I double click on the uh, live paint uh, bucket tool you have uh, the paint fill I can enable paint stroke option okay so I just select that and now when I uh, I should generally pick a color and increase the stroke okay now when I go and then select that I just go closer paint selection tool Uh, the cursor keeps changing here let's say if I'm uh, hovering this on the face of the shape uh, it's showing me the paint bucket but when I hover this on the path it's showing a brush okay just double click it okay so you can see that all strokes applied to the shape here so this is like uh, uh, like uh, you have this uh, paint uh, software and you got paint bucket tool and you start filling all that stroke it's like you uh, painted something with a sketch pen in your school assignments uh, the, the primary school assignments there's a cartoon and then you need to fill uh, with sketch pen so it's it's like that okay so live uh, paint tool works like this it makes your life a bit easier when it comes to you know uh, creating illustrations so that's how you can uh, convert a simple bitmap image into a vector illustrations using uh, the both the tools one was like your uh, image trace uh, make and expand and the other one is the live paint bucket tool so hope you liked it thank you